What's up everyone, Luke Michael James here. Welcome back to another video. I said last week that I was gonna show you around the bike and uh, that's what we're gonna do today, as well as unbox this little package that came in the post. Um, rather exciting new saddle from Physique um, that I've bought because my bottom is kind of sore from riding for so many hours. After that amount of hours in the saddle, you get a sore ass. So um, I've invested in what I think will be a comfortable upgrade, but we're gonna find out. So first of all, before we get to showing you the bike, let's unbox this. That broke. Don't need that packaging box. It's quite kind of big. Physique. Uh, Adaptive R3. This is the standard saddle. It is a 3D printed saddle, which I'm quite interested to see. Yeah, from the pictures, it looks wicked. Now, I didn't go crazy and spend the 400 quid on the crazy green looking one. Uh, this is the cheapest of them all. This is it. This is the Physique Adaptive R3. Uh, just with the normal rails on it, not the carbon rails. It has the channel down the middle. So it has the channel down the middle because I, I was getting a little bit of um, like soreness in the middle of my sit bones. So I thought this would relieve a bit of the pressure. Oh, it's weird. So it's like really spongy here and then it's firm there and then it kind of stays firm for the rest of it but it's really spongy at the back. So you can see it's really compresses and then it gets to here and then it's nice and firm. It looks weird, doesn't it? This is the Antares. Uh, so it's, for those of you who don't know much about cycling or physique saddles, um, they have like a, a range. So the Alianti is for the least flexible person. The Antares is sort of in the middle and the um, Arione or Arione is the uh, the most sort of flexible. That's quite flat saddle. So this is sort of like a mixture of the two. It's still quite flat on, in terms of how level, but it does have quite a width to it um, and isn't just like sitting on a slab. So yeah, 3D 3D printed on top, carbon reinforced nylon uh, for the shell and the rail is the the kium whatever that's called the kium rail it's not carbon rail but it is relatively lightweight i don't have any scales to tell you exactly how heavy but does it say on here 209 grams is how much it weighs so it's not not very heavy i mean I can throw it around so i'm going to put this on a bike and then i'll give you a little bit of a b-roll of the bike and sort of go through what it is, what I've upgraded on it already, and uh, what I think to it after a couple of months of riding. Let's do it. So I don't really have a lot of nice places that I can show you the bike, only really my garden, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of tidying up because as you can see, it doesn't really look very nice at the minute. This is my new bike, the Ribble Endurance SL in red. Ribble are a UK bike manufacturer based in Preston in Lancashire and I chose the SL after seeing Cam Jeffers uh, use it as his main bike on his channel. On the Ribble website you can use the Ribble Bike Builder to build your bike from scratch uh, and choose every component which is really cool. I went with a Shimano 105 group set, although it's the cheapest of the options, it's really smooth when shifting. Um, the, the brakes are really good, 
Uh, I did upgrade the rotors to Dura Ace just because they look sick. Uh, but the only major thing I upgraded when I actually built the bike on the website was the handlebars. I wanted the integrated aero bars that house all of the cables internally. So it's got a super clean cockpit with no cables showing at all. When you pair that with my aero wahoo mount for the bike computer, it makes the front end look so slick. The frame's a really good mix of endurance and race geometry, so you can ride for hours and hours without getting really bad aches, but if you really want to get into an aggressive position to push hard, you can. I've added quite a few bits to the bike since I actually bought it, probably most noticeably those Hunt 50mm carbon aero rims. They look absolutely badass, make you go fast, and they only weigh 1,439 grams in total between the pair. These rims are also super wide, so I run 28mm Vittoria Corsa tyres because tan walls are the only way to go. Because I shed quite a lot of weight on the rims compared to what I had on before, I upgraded the rear cassette to an Ultegra just to save a little bit of extra weight, uh, and I upgraded the chain as well to a gold chain, because why not? The last thing to show you on the bike is actually what I unboxed earlier, the Physic Adaptive R3 saddle. Uh, since I unboxed it, I've had a chance to go for a long ride on the bike with the saddle on, about 5 hours, and it felt really good to be honest. It has a lot of grip, which is great, uh, and it's about as comfortable as a bike saddle can get. I mean, you're still sitting on a bike saddle. I literally love this bike, and I've been riding it every opportunity I can. That's kind of why I've not been on YouTube for the last sort of 2-3 months. But I am looking at more ways to include the bike and cycling into the channel, so keep your eyes peeled for more content that's going to be related to that. As always guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, please hit a thumbs up. Uh, I hope you like the bike. Let me know down in the comments what bike you ride if you do, what you think to this bike, what's your favourite part. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Smash like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can see every time I upload. And until I put the next video up guys, take care of yourselves, all the best, see you soon. why I did the bit at the bottom you know along along that way here's a little tip for you always give yourself room to turn around so I'll mow the bottom bit and then you can always turn around you don't have to worry about going to the fence yeah. so you talk about loads, loads of different tips on this channel it's not just photo and bikes lawn mowing advice <laughs>